a reading from the prophet Hosea, chapter 2, verse 18 through 25. On that day, says the Lord, she shall call me my husband, and never again my Baal. Then will I remove from her mouth the names of the Baals, so that they shall no longer be invoked. I will make a covenant for them on that day with the beasts of the field, with the birds of the air, and with the things that crawl on the ground. Bow and sword and war I will destroy from the land, and I will let them take their rest in security. I will espouse you to me forever. I will espouse you in right and in justice, in love and in mercy. I will espouse you in fidelity, and you shall know the Lord. On that day I will respond, says the Lord. I will respond to the heavens, and they shall respond to the earth. The earth shall respond to the grain and wine and oil, and these shall respond to Jezreel. I will sow him for myself in the land, and I will have pity on Lo Ruhama. I will say to Lo Ammi, you are my people, and he shall say, my God. In the prophet Hosea, we see marital and even sexual imagery for God's love for his people. And he says, one day the people will love me as well, and the people will know me. When we say that they will know me, especially in reference to a marriage imagery, we go back to Adam and Eve. And it says, Adam knew his wife. This is sexual imagery. This is imagery of love, of intimacy. And so God is saying that there will be an intimacy, an intimacy between himself and his people this is why we call the church the Bride of Christ. If we look, I believe it's Ephesians, it says marriage is a great mystery, and I mean it in regards to Christ and his church. That at Pentecost, Christ marries his church. That at Pentecost, there is an intimacy greater than the intimacy between husband and wife, that at Pentecost we are able to know God better than husbands and wives know each other.